Establish reconstruction in a re re revision hip arthroplasty situation is always a real challenge. It's not that easy to manage. For that, we need to follow the principles of reconstruction. So get the component in the right place, center of rotation, as Dr. Bose said. It has to be in the native place. Restore, try to restore the bone stock, avoid component impingement. A lot of options are there. Let us concentrate here about the jumbo cup. What is exactly the jumbo cup? More than, if you're trying to use a cup bigger than, like, more than 10 mm larger than the normal contralateral side, then that the principle is jumbo cup. You use the regular uncemented highly porous cup, but the principle is called as jumbo cup principle. So here, if it is a 46 mm cup, then you try to put a bigger cup with a three point contact of the cup and the uh, host bone. So that is the jumbo cup principle with the regular uncemented cup. So if you hold the cup in two fingers like that, it is unstable. That is like, this is like a two, point fixation. The cup rotates when only fixed by two points. At the same time, even if it is three points, if the point of fixation is not correct, again it is unstable. So that means what? Uh, the point of fixation should be proper. So this is the stable three point fixation for a jumbo cup principle to work. The three points spanning over 180 degrees hold the hemisphere cup firmly. What is there? Antero superior, postero superior, both in the ileum postero inferior from the ischium. These are the three points where you need to get the fixation for a jumbo cup principle for it to work. What you have to do, we have to classify the bone loss. As we all know, Paprosky classification, type 1, type 2, type 3. Type 1 columns are supportive, columns are not supportive in type 3. So in Paprosky classification, based on that, majority of the jumbo cup principle works well in type 2, where the columns are intact and supportive but the, there is a migration superiorly, whether medial or lateral. This is where very important. Let us go through some examples. Paprosky classification, type 2, where the columns are supportive. So that is, this is a very common situation in a uh, bipolar processes. Because of the bipolar head, unipolar head, the uh, astablum gets eroded. There is a mild migration, less than 2 centimeter. A simple jumbo cup principle works well. Get the cup in the right place. One more example, loose cement space, uh, spacer, cement inside, it again erodes the superior rim and get the uh, bigger cup, highly porous, uncemented cup, jumbo cup principle works well. Again, one more example, jumbo cup principle. So, the, the, the point here is getting the three point fixation without compromising the position of the cup or the location of the cup. Paprosky type 2B, what is that? E, Kohler's line is intact, ischium is intact, teardrop is also intact, but there is a superior migration. Superior rim is compromised. So in this situation, if you ream properly, very carefully, not to lose the three-point fixation, then the jumbo cup principle works. One more example of type 2B, where the superior lateral migration is there, rim is compromised, but the uh, column is intact. So the, again, the principle works very well here. Sometimes type 2C, yes, this is a touch and go, you might be able to get away or you may not be, but you have to be very, very careful because the migration is uh, medial. So the supramedial migration is there. Again, supramedial, medial wall defect, very, very careful, but it, you have to be very careful that it, is, it doesn't go very much superior or a high hip center. Again, one more example, type 2C, medial migration, medial wall defect, two years post-op. 2C also works well, as I said, again, with the bone grafting medially you can get but a lot of screw fixation is very important because the three point fixation the third point sometimes might be little compromised so that is the most important thing here so what is the advantages of jumbo cup host, co host bone contact is maximized with the cup principle weight bearing is distributed all the three points the need for bone grafting or augments is reduced so that way you are able to get away with additional bone fixes uh, augment or bone grafts is avoided so majority of the paprosky type 2 defects if you are very careful very careful in reaming you can get away with this jumbo cup principle with highly porous uncemented cups so what is uh, the big advantage it permits ingrowth it bone formation is there then it also helps into uh, future revisions possible because we are not losing much of bone. So type 2 defects in revisions, again, jumbo cup principle works well, provided you follow the principles. What are the disadvantages? Because you are putting in a bigger socket, you will be reaming more anterior and posterior wall. 
so that is very very uh, you have to be careful that you don't remove so much of anterior and posterior wall and also the medial wall is also compromised so in, in this scenario the jumbo cup principle uh, when you try to put it it goes into high hip center slowly it goes up so that is where the good bone or the good fixation is there so you tend to put it so you have to avoid that high hip center as much as possible in these kind of revision scenarios which was highlighted by dr vijay so high hip center in jumbo cup uh, in these kind of situation like this better to avoid so the challenge here is getting the uh, three point fixation and getting the native uh, acetab native acetabulum and the jumbo cup principle is real challenge but it works well high hip center one more post traumatic situation very very common in post traumatic situations if you try a jumbo cup principle the chance of high hip center is very high if you look at the literature the survival rate is good 98% at 4 years and 96% at uh, uh, 16 years so the overall survival is good but less success remember this it is less successful with paprosky type 3b defects so whenever you deal with type 3 defects try to get your other principles not the jumbo cup because the failure chances are very very high because you will be losing more bone whatever host bone is available so various literature says that there is good uh, re results in literature about this jumbo cup but your technique is very very important the most common complication of jumbo cup is dislocation 6% of all the operated cases so in this literature 2024 analyzed revision tha using a jumbo cup total 9, uh, 541 jumbo cups implanted and evaluated out of this the results were promising uh, almost 82% 15 years follow up that is what the literature says jumbo cup combined advantage of large diameter porous cups and a simpler surgical technique so to summarize most acetabular revisions can be managed with a hemispherical component and screw fixation type 2 jumbo cup principle works well so for a successful jumbo cup what is the take home sizing that is the reaming of the acetabulum is very very important careful impaction to achieve a press fit multiple screws so try to get a multi hole cup in when you are trying for a jumbo cup principle ischial screw in the posterior column definitely adds lot of uh, stability allograft is used so that you get try to get, create a whole good bone contraindications what are the contraindications pelvic discontinuity inability to get a rim fit that is very very important that is a three point fixation and inability to get a screw fixation if you are not able to get a good screw hole then the jumbo cup principle chance of failure is very very high thank you